Hi, my name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya and today's topic is feminine superpowers for the female entrepreneur. Now, traditionally, entrepreneurship has been believed to be a male-dominated industry. So when women got into entrepreneurship, they felt that they need to work as hard as a man or as long as men or just like their male counterparts. And what this led to is hustle culture. And this is what led to female entrepreneurs having overwhelm and burnout and self-doubt. So today what I'm going to teach you are some feminine superpowers which will help you take aligned action, which will help you feel more aligned and also stand out in your industry and it will play to your own unique strengths. So let's get into it. So a little bit about me. My name is Dr. Kohiri Bhattacharya. I am a feminine energy coach and I'm the founder of the multidimensional soul sisterhood which helps ambitious women reach their quantum life without the burnout, self-doubt and overwhelm. So I have created this thing called the feminine archetypes and there are 10 archetypes. You might have seen my previous video on how to use these feminine archetypes as a mother. How you can be 10 different kinds of mother to your child and be a better mother using the feminine archetypes. And today we're going to use the feminine archetypes to become better feminine entrepreneurs. Okay, so let's get into it. The first is the maiden archetype and her feminine superpower is awe, innocence and joy. So how do you use it in your own entrepreneur uh, or business? Find out where your inner child feels joy. What did you like as a kid? What were your gifts as a kid? And what did you get appreciated for as a child? And how can you join all of those things into your job right that's the first thing the second thing is awe where can you get the inspiration from others where do you see your mentors and having that kind of maiden awe for your mentors is going to help you to learn more from them and become to really have that student uh, vibe about you you need the feminine archetype from the maiden and the last bit is how to bring more joy. So as a customer, what gives you joy when you buy different things? What is that joy aspect whenever you are purchasing from others? And how can you give that joy element to your own customers? So that is how you would use the maiden archetype. The next archetype is the lover archetype and her feminine superpowers are passion, pleasure and creativity. So where can you channel your creativity channel your passions your own passions and things that give you pleasure into your job how can you bring the passion for being on stages or your passion to help people or your passion about around makeup or your passion around colors or fashion or what or your passion about bollywood or films or sitcoms how can you channel all of that passion and pleasure and bring that creativity into your entrepreneur life the next is the warrior archetype and her feminine superpowers are grit and determination. She is ready for a challenge. She is the warrior who is ready to go to battle and she's not afraid even if it's a bad day. She knows that she lives for the pressure. She lives for, she thrives under challenges. She thrives under pressure. So you want to bring that warrior archetype whenever you are faced with any challenges in your entrepreneurial life. The next is the nurturer, the motherhood uh, archetype, the mother archetype and her feminine aspects, her feminine superpowers are maternal love, nurturing, compassion and empathy. <clears throat> And you can get this kind of empathy and this compassion when you are dealing in human resource, when you're dealing with your team, when you are building a fledgling startup. A startup is uh, but like a toddler, a child. There'll be a lot of learning uh, and growth pains. And at that time, you need to really delve into your maternal love for your company, for your startup to really give it that kind of nourishment and nurturing that a mother does and that is the feminine superpower of the nurturer archetype. The next is the queen archetype, one of my favorite. So the queen archetype's feminine superpower is the ability to receive 
and the ability to express. So what is this ability to receive? That is the ability to receive help from others and the ability to receive gifts from others and the ability to receive compliments from others. So imagine a queen and she's holding court and uh, kingdoms from all around the world, all around the world get her gifts. So when she is receiving the gift, how does she present herself? Those gifts could be in the in the way of help. There could be knights and kings who are like, I would want to wage wars for you. Someone would gift her something. Someone would pay her a compliment. And she is in her queendom when she accepts all of this. But we sometimes tend to, uh, whenever we get a compliment, we tend to deflect it away. Or we feel too much gratitude when we are given help. Or we feel that we might be playing small. If we ask for help from someone or someone says we would like to help you. But in the entrepreneur business, you need others help. And instead of playing small, instead of feeling small that, oh, I, I needed help from someone or feeling like an imposter when someone compliments you, be in your queen energy and in your feminine superpower of how do you receive these gifts? How do you receive these compliments without playing yourself down and also acknowledging the other person? And the other thing is being able to express. So a queen is able to express her gratitude beautifully, express her thoughts beautifully, express and uh, raise a kingdom beautifully. And she has this gift of her voice where she really makes people want to go and fight for her, want to build a life together with her, build a kingdom with her. And that is the feminine superpower that you can use in your female entrepreneur life. The next is the high priestess. Now, if the queen loved, uh, has the gift of expression, mm -hmm. the high priestess has the superpower of listening. She can hold space for others. She has the gift of being able to hold space for others, let them uh, express their uh, doubts or express their creative ideas and she can hold court. So the high priestess can hold court and listen to others. And the other thing is the ability to give to herself. She doesn't feel that. And so this gift to be able to give yourself is being able to invest in your own journey, invest in your own happiness, invest in your health, invest in your own learning. Because as a female entrepreneur, you need to know that you are your greatest asset. You are the brand, you are the business, you are what people are buying into. And that you can get through the feminine superpower of being in your high priestess energy. The next is the wise woman. Now the wise woman is someone who is experienced and has worldly wisdom. Now for this, you can also reach out to mentors who have that wise woman energy and reach out to mentors who are women, mentors who have done this before in your own field, in allied fields, and really be able to channel their wisdom, their wise wisdom. And if you are already someone who has a lot of wisdom, who has a lot of earthly experience in the field that you're working in, this is the time that you can use your wise woman energy to mentor others. The next is the good girl archetype. Now the good girl archetype is willing to make sacrifices to maintain order. And many a time in our entrepreneur business, entrepreneur life, we may need to make certain sacrifices. We may need to make certain sacrifices to maintain the order, the discipline and our career growth. And this is where you need the discipline, the ability to follow orders, the ability to follow rules and regulations that the good girl archetype has. The ability to follow regulations is what the good girl will teach you. Now the wild woman, the wild woman is exactly opposite. The wild woman archetype has the feminine superpower of dreaming big, dreaming large and being able to bring change and being an industry disruptor. Someone who is thinking 10x goals, someone who has audacious dreams, someone who is unwilling to settle for less, someone who is willing to break the glass ceiling, someone who is willing to charter new paths, and someone who is willing to be an industry disruptor, where you think that there is a better way of doing something and you do it. And that is the feminine superpower of the wild woman who makes her own rules and does not follow the rules. So these are all the different feminine superpowers that you can use as a female entrepreneur. And if you want to take...
want to take this work deeper with me then i have two offerings for you one is my goddess collective which is a self paced 24 days program inside that you get to learn all about the 10 different archetypes and how you can embody them using inner child work the joy pleasure fun and play meditations doing shadow work doing chakra healing doing inner work doing sacred rage practices and so much more along with goal setting right and the other program is a 6 months immersive program where you get live weekly coaching sessions with me and 90 minutes to almost 2 hours of live interactions in a group coaching setting which is called the expansion experience so two programs one is 24 days and the other is 6 months and inside which you can get to learn so much more about what it means to be living in your feminine energy I look forward to listening from you and hearing your comments. You can write in to me in my email multidimensionalmom at gmail.com or you can follow me on Instagram under multidimensionalmom or you can leave a DM below and you can reach out to me if you want to join any of my programs.